there's no. Welcome to Straight Red Card. So, <laughs> trying to catch up on that one, man. <laughs> here we are, one fucking 50 something in the morning, and we're doing segment three, which is, you know, it's the Greg review, right? Because we gave the players their reviews and their grades, and it was a tale of two halves. Um, and the same thing goes for Greg. Um, it was a tale of two halves. What he tried to do, which was gimmicky and silly, didn't work in the first half. Unfortunately, it took him all of the first half to figure it out. But once he did, at halftime, he made an amazing change. And here we are. We got five points out of three games. Brett, mm -hmm. I mean, that's... I don't, it's not acceptable, but it's out of, out of the firing range. He's not going to be fired yet. No, no. And quite, quite frankly, uh, after the Canada game, this is the best possible outcome. <laughs> no, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. No, and so. for, and for those motherfuckers that are like, I hope we lose. So Greg gets fired. Don't, don't, you're taking it too far. Don't say things like that. Don't hope we lose. That's not cool. You've crossed the barrier. You're no longer a fucking USA supporter. You're just a kind of a schmuck jerk ass. All right. That's my, what my, you my are. take on that is I do not ever want to lose. I don't ever want to tie either. I want to win every game. Um, and I could not fathom sacrificing a game, especially in the World Cup qualifying. Now, if it was Gold Cup or Nations League, and he still even would want to do that. I want, I want, I want to win everything. And do I think Burhalter is the best coach that we could afford? No. Do I think that he's gotten the results for the most part? Sadly, yes. I mean, he's sadly in the sense that it's it's been pretty ugly during his tenure. Um, but he's gotten the results, and you can't yeah. argue with that. Unfortunately, listen, he he earned himself mulligans by winning Nations League and Gold Cup. He's now he had two mulligans going into this. He already used at least one of them up hmm. with the first two ties. So if he would have, he would have used his other mulligan up tonight if he had lost. And it really looked after the first half, which is the most miserable, shitty, crappy, horrible first half I have watched a U.S. men's national team play since he first started managing the team when we were horrible. So it's not really that long ago, but. <laughs> It looked like our players were constipated. We had no I fucking clue what we were doing. Adams and Burhalter were arguing on the sidelines like a bunch of children. I mean, it was just, it was egregious. It was an egregious first half. The CBS guys were like, uh, like how much can I say about how bad that was? And then they did, kind of. Sure. And I think, I think one thing to consider is, sure, uh, Burhalter got plagued with a couple of injuries and like we mentioned beforehand, a COVID restriction uh, or regulation rule breaking. But when it came to the actual game itself and he was able to bring in other players, he opted to bring in Yule. And yeah. he didn't actually play Yule. Oh, my God. But, I mean, your, your, one, your one addition for depth is to bring in another six. We already had two to three sixes, depending where you expected uh, Sands to be on from the roster. So if we have two to three sixes already, why do we need another six? And yeah. he was not going to make a difference. He, uh, he, who knows? Maybe, or knowing my luck, I would say, who wasn't going to make a difference? And he'd come in and score a hat trick. But you have, yeah. you have other players in MLS that you could have brought in that may have made a difference, at least added more depth to certain positions. Yeah, but I think it's pretty clear that there's no way Ewell's going to play unless, um, unless you know, Adams went down with a um, a spear to the shoulder. Uh, unless you know, yeah, I, I, Acosta was bit in the leg by a rabid dog. I don't think he was getting on the field. I think it was just sort of like, who's the closest that can make this flight? Over to fucking Jose. Honduras. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So who's the most available? It wasn't really a good time to bring in parks all the way from New York City to Honduras, although that could have happened, but we've never had parks on the national team. I mean, at least look, not yeah. recently. So 
You know, it's it's it, it was just an easy decision. The thing that Greg fucked up was already earlier. He didn't after Wea went down. He didn't replace Wea yep. on the roster. That was an error. It didn't hurt us tonight because Aaron Aronson was out of his fucking mind and played like a banshee. Um, and I guess. Um, but to that point, though, we, mm-hmm. we ended up losing Reina. So then we relied we relied on using all of our wing depth slash pulling Sargent over. Whether or not you think that he should be a, a winger or not, no, he too. can play that but position, Brad. I'm just I'm just saying I'm just saying though that by not bringing in the reinforcements earlier when Weya went down, and you had Pulisic that was out for the first match, that you you sort of hamstringed us, if you will, um, yeah, to uh, to utilizing certain players. Not necessarily out of position, but players that aren't comfortable aren't necessarily comfortable to that in the formation that we are in. On top of that, stretching the players that we do have out as far as you can. So it's just, I feel yeah, like he, I feel like in that situation, Burhalter could have made a difference earlier on, and at least just add the depth, call him down, and go from there. He got away with it. That's for sure. He got away with it, and stretching it as thin as it can go because. You know, it's and he had an extra spare he never used. Um, we talk about De La Fuente. He could have been the sub for Pulisic and not rolled on. What the fuck was he not included? Is my question. But I mean, I guess it panned out, especially since we talked about rolled on's and in, uh, interference in the uh, third goal. So I I think at that point when rolled on came on, Greg was really scared still. <laughs> and when you're really scared, you're like, oh, who can I depend on? Oh, hold on. Yes. That's what happened. He's like, that's a guy I, I can depend on. I like Conrad. I like his potential. He was thinking, but I'm scared shitless. And I just want a guy I can depend on a guy who apparently has been telling Berhalter, I'm a starter, man. I'm a starter. Why ain't I starting? And Greg's had to say, cause well, you're just a really good sub. That's why. Well, Anyhow, it worked out tonight, and I didn't think Pearl Don had a particularly good game until he, you know, stole the ball, which led to the ball going to Pepe, which led to the cross, which led to Aronson putting that fucker away. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, Greg, I mean, we're thinking up Greg grades for Greg, right? Um Greg are, we, are, we, are, we, are, we, are we talking about the entire window or are we just talking about this one performance? I think we'll do both. We'll do the performance tonight and then the whole thing, hmm. all three games of the window. And I think if I really get down to it, I'm going to say, Greg, tonight got a C plus. And because he was at an F after <laughs> the first half yeah. and he improved that to a C plus. And I would give him more, but I think he should have seen it sooner. So what you're saying is first half, he got an F, but then the second half, he got an A+, plus, which means that he got a C+. Plus. Yeah, he ended up right <laughs> in the middle, right in the middle. He gave me an yeah. F paper, and then he gave me an A paper, and I guess, you know, I gave him a C, C+. Plus. That's kind of where I'm going to end up on that for this game. Uh, how'd you do it? Sure. I mean, you, I mean how can you argue against that? His 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 lineup, his tactics, and everything was completely wrong in the first half. Completely wrong. Yep. And then in the second half, he made the vital changes he needed to make. Probably should have started that way, um, but it is what it is. And I'm not going to argue and say that it should have been that way because here we are four one later, and uh, it worked out. But uh, we, <laughs> I feel like to an extent, we got very fortunate there. He made the changes early which was a key thing because i think that was the biggest problem he had all window is he made the he normally makes those sub changes way too late in the match and you can't yeah. make a difference when you have 10 minutes maybe 15 at most you're sitting there going like i may touch the ball like three times yeah i can't do much i mean, I mean he certainly fucked himself versus canada waiting so long so yeah um listen did he make changes did he make drastic changes yes he did and all I would say to Gray is stop the gimmicks, dude. We don't have time for gimmicks. There's not enough practice time for the national team playing together to be gimmicky. Mm-hmm. Just play straight up. 
and give these players the freedom to be creative and they'll get creative and you'll get goals. But if you force them into your fucked up system, then they're going to feel suffocated. So let them be, let it be as Paul McCartney once sang, let it be, let it be. Listen, speaking words of wisdom. (laughs) If he want, if he wants to change it up in the sense that changing it up from a four four three to a three four three or three five two or whatever, play the players in their positions again. Adams is not a right back. I mean, I know he's played it before and he can be serviceable there, I guess, but he's not a right back and he's much he's much more he's needed in the midfield. We noticed this when he was absent with injuries, is that our midfield was just lacking something, and when Adams came back, it was there. So uh, don't don't play don't play players in a position for failure. Don't set them up for failure. Basically, you can still play a three back line, and they showed it a couple of times. But I think predominantly, I mean, obviously, I know, I know predominantly he's played a four three three like ninety percent of his games. So if it's not changing, figure out what the personnel issue is, and get on their asses and say, guys, if you don't pick your shit up. I'm bringing somebody else in next camp, you know? Yeah. Those players, those players will pick it up. They're not going to be twiddling their thumbs and looking at clouds and picking daisies. They're going to get out there and they're going to bust their ass. And that brings us to the whole window grade, which I am also giving him a C. I think it could be much better. I think it was mostly disappointing up until the four, one win tonight. It was mostly disappointing, but still generally disappointing since we were all hoping that the bottom line expectation was seven points. Yeah. You know, minimum was our, our, we're all sitting there going like, yeah, seven, but we're going to go with nine. And you know what? And the funny thing is about all this, despite all the issues we've had all, all window, we could have came away with nine points. We could have, we could have, we had chances against both El Salvador and Canada. We could have put away. Um, but we didn't, and we came out with five instead. It is what it is. Um, I think there there's personnel issues uh, within the camp that we all questioned, um, and players that got omitted. Uh, there are player selections for each match and where they're positioned and how we played that we questioned. Um, I think that he suffered from sub management issues. He just didn't make the proper subs at the proper time. And sometimes you even scratch your head when you did make subs. So, so I'm thinking myself, <laughs> he ended up getting some of the results, especially on the road, four points on the road is massive, but as a whole, it was a grind and it was ugly and there were just bad decisions left and right. I giving him a C minus C minus to a C. I think uh, you can average that out folks. Um, if you want to, but yeah, I think that's fair. I do. I think a C minus is fair too. If you want to be more critical, you can be. But I think we need to see a B out of out of him, not just across the board. I'd like to see an A every half. Hmm. I I don't want to see an F and then an A. Yeah. I want to see a B <laughs> like and an a, a and then a B or something like that. You know. Yeah, a B and a B would actually, or a B and an A would be spectacular. Let's, yeah. Let's just say we have the player personnel that we the saying a C minus he got a C minus is in fact a failure. We have the player personnel that getting seven to nine points this window should have not necessarily been guaranteed, but we, we we weren't in our we weren't in the wrong to expect it. We have we have the players, but they're just not playing up to the potential, and I'm blaming that on the management. Oh, and by the way, last week when I said this is probably five points. And you were like, no, yeah. Five points, Brett. Do I get an award of some sort? Like a gold? gold Yeah. I'll say, I'll say if we had to go back and do it again, I would still say, no, it's still seven to nine points. I don't get like a golden butt plug or something for an award. (laughs) I'm sure. I'm sure one of our, one of our lovely fans can, uh, can purchase one for you on Amazon and send it your way. As long as it's gold. I'll melt that fucker down. <laughs> I got no it'd be, need it'd be, for a, it, It's gold plated. Well, I got no need for a butt plug. So, <laughs> but if you do, that's fine. We're, I'm not judging you. I mean, butt plug gold. It's, uh, it's lead paint. It's lead painted gold actually, but yeah. I'll take gold, a golden butt plug. If somebody wants to mail me one, I will take it. 
Um, like I said, I'll melt it down. I'm not going to stick it in my butt. Um, all right. I think that's it, Brett. We need to go to bed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. It's almost been uh, 20 minutes already. So, fuck. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I know. We're, we're morons. That's the bottom line. We just can't stop talking. Fucking jibber jabber mouths. Fucking endless motherfuckers who can't stop yapping. All right, until the next time on the Straight Red Cards, like, subscribe, keep sharing. We appreciate the support. We really do. I mean, this is really nuts. When we started this, we thought, man, it's going to take like two years for anybody to give a shit. Well, nope, it's taken shorter than that, and that's because of you. So thank you, and good night.